What's up, everyone? This is your stream, Mr. Steven, and welcome to the Steven Factor. Uh, before I'm going to start, if you love this video, make sure you have to hit the like, subscribe, and click the notification bell to see one of my newest, latest videos. Now, folks, it's Thursday night, and you know what that means. It's Law & Order Thursday. Now, next week... Uh, Marisha, Marishka Harchete will appear on Organized Crime for a third time. And this is a uh, staying crossover event to all the Law & Orders fans everywhere. Now, just want to let you know, I will do a little bit of quick review on Organized Crime, which is on Episode 3. Um, last week, Elliot got beat up by these two bad guys working for Wheatley. Wheatley and... Um, Yes, he got beat up. Yeah, he got beat up into pieces. Um, Bell, Sergeant Bell, has been revealed that she's gay uh, with her beautiful wife. And also, the baby is upon us as well, too. So, congratulations to her, especially for LGBTQ community as well, too. Beautiful story, right, to be honest with you. Uh, I mean, uh, I remember one time that uh, um, it, it happened, like, when I watch it, my mom thinks that's her daughter, but no, that's her wife. So, she is happily gay and I'm very proud with an outstanding, wonderful character, to be honest with you. Um, yeah, Richard Wheatley have a new plan for the vaccine for the future. Even Elias saw it. Destroyed the equipment like he used to. Uh, and uh, the vaccine charity uh, is here, but they're not perfect match. So the COVID vaccine should be somewhere else. But it was a pretty good, good storyline, to be honest with you. Um, the critics are praising about Christopher Maloney's return. People love it, and some people really don't like it uh, as well because um, the storyline, the format has changed. There's no the clang, dun dun, you know what it, you know what it's called, and um, it's like you've been watching a Chicago PD uh, 2.0 or something like that. So um, it's a great show. I really enjoyed it for episode three. So let's looking forward to episode four. I hope everything will go swell. Okay, uh, I'm gonna do something a little different here, folks. Um, there's so many rumors about two people that I really admired: Elliot Stabler and Olivia Benson. Now, there's I just want to let you know is that I want to say thoughts about these two characters. Now, they've been working for SVU for 12 years, from 1999 through 2011. Um, they have a wonderful chemistry together. They have so many good times and bad. Olivia's hairstyle is changing over the years. But... There's so many rumors that they think that they are actually lovers. You know that what if that Elliot and Olivia will doing a special romance in this series. But folks, I'm sick of tired of rumors. That's number one and number two. It's not going to happen. They just friends, okay? They're friends and partners. But in real life, uh, Marishka and Chris were friends from and Finn for over 20 years between on and off camera. And as you may know, originally when 
Christopher Maloney decided to left the show because he's having a uh, big, um, um, having a little bit of allegations about this new contract. So he decided to left and change his own image, different characters. But when he came back from the show, everything is, is very different now. And I hope this show will be greater and better to all the Law & Order fans. Now, listen. Elliot and Olivia are not friend, are not lovers, okay? They're just friends. They're partners. They talk about so many uh, uh, great chemistry together. Solving crime together. Relationships been torn apart. And as you know, uh, Olivia got adopted son. Um, Elliot saw no for the very first time. Um, last week, I remember that Olivia is worried about him. and uh, But when Elliot told her to back off, he didn't really mean it to back off. Which means that he wants to protect his friend. And Olivia asks Elliot that you've been a you've been a a world you meant a lot of world to me, and and she is want to protect him too. So they both protect each other, and they want and he wants her to be safe, and and she wants him to be safe in this New York City, and that's why Elliot tells her to back off, but. You know what back off means. It means to go away or something. But when he trying meant to say is in a nicer way, it's like a cold or something. Like you need or oh, you need to back off because he will do something. He was on a mission to, to protect her, her son, his his ex colleagues or everything. Ah, uh, listen, man. I don't know this crossover. It's got to be tight very soon. But listen, I love Olivia and Elliot a lot. The chemistry is getting grower. The partners and relationships are getting grower too. But the romance part is no excuse. It will ruin everything. And that's that. That's that. Sick of tired of these stupid rumors, man. I mean, come on. They're not going to kiss. I mean, Elliot's wife just died. And he needs to continue to his grief. And Liv knew that he wants to continue to his grief because she loves her best friend. And that friend is Elliot Stabler. Now, I know Elliot Stabler knows his mission. He's looking, He his face is like a total bad shape. Like uh, the Allstate guy commercial had dozens of accidents. Uh, he like he's he looked like the next the Dark Knight in Gotham City, and Richard Ridley is the new Lex Luthor. I mean, what if Richard will create his own company called Wheat Corp? Wheat Corp Industries. That sound like a But you know what? In the reality, I've been thinking like, what if if Christopher Maloney and Marisha Harkate were doing their first motion motion picture together? I mean, like if they're going to create a romantic comedy, that would be perfect. Or they're going to create their own action movie as well, as different characters besides Stabler and Benson. Or if the Wolf Entertainment and Universal Pictures will make their first motion picture on the Law & Order franchise, this movie should be titled as Stabler and Benson. L -l 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 There's my prediction. Okay? SVU and Organized Crime will wrap up the season finale. And when the show were picked up where they left, Dolph, which is organized crime, they create a movie. And this movie should be titled called Law and Order Presents Stabler and Benson, or Stabler and Benson for short. 
Stabler and Benson were working together, um, tracking some new bad guys that they didn't know. They're not, and we're not talking about pedophiles or something like that. Be like the mall boss working for drug organization, and I think Richard Whitley should be kidnapped, and and, and even um, Stable trying to help him a favor and help him escape, and he'll be back, and he helped with Olivia team up like a dynamic of duels like Batman and Robin, and it, it could be a storyline ahead. If Dick Wolf will might be a good idea to create. A motion picture with Universal Studios and NBC, it could make a lots of money. I'm talking about millions. And I think, I predict that this movie will take place in the summertime. That would be perfect. That would be perfect. That would be a good chemistry. That will be a good storyline. Mariska Hartate will be director or executive producer, or let Christopher Maloney will become a director too. But I think this is gonna be a a a, a total outstanding approach in the future for the fans and the characters as well. But like I said, Stabler and Benson are partners and friends, not lovers. Dolo by la familia. We see you next time.